Hello guys, are you tired of making donuts? Here is something quick and easy that you can make. We start with the default cube. Let's scale this up and bevel. Then we put a 3D model. This model was made using the Make Human software, so you can check it out. And what you can do is change the material. Using the Blender Kit add-on, you can set for marble. It's a nice material. I'll replace that and replace the cube also with the marble material. This is a great add-on to locate textures, materials, anything you want, even HDRIs. You can check out the Blender Kit add-on. So we'll hide that. Let's select the base and press J using the Bagger Pie add-on. We add IV, reduce the height. Let's reduce the density. And then for the model, add modifier boolean and shift a we want to cut it with a cube select the model and use the object for the difference we select the object we go to the viewport display and display as wire so you can see where it cuts off if you go into edit mode we subdivide it and increase the fractal then we can use that to cut the hand we add on our modifier boolean select the cube change it to wire tap into edit mode the transparency on and we select all the faces there and delete all the vertices you can do the same thing for the other arm let's move this add modifier boolean and select the cube looking good we apply that tap into edit mode we want to select all of this then we can move this object downward much better. For the inside part of the arms, you can add like a cylinder to scale that down. Increase the length. Move it, rotate it a bit, then duplicate it. So that it looks like that is the metal part inside the statue. Duplicate linked. And then we select this, press J. Using the backup pie add-on, you can add IV. This is too much at the moment, so the density, let's take that way down. Use the resolution, offset scale, let's reduce that. So now we have IV growing on the statue. Then you can tap into our render mode. You select the object, you go to edit your preferences and search for try lighting. Enable that add on. Let's add an empty plane axis so we can use this to control the three point light and add your three point light and we can bring the lights from the top let's increase the intensity we can quickly render that out so if you found this tutorial helpful don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and i will see you in the next video